so it's almost mid 2020 and we can definitely not deny the fact that tech has improved drastically throughout the years we now have amazing smartphones with awesome hardware and software that combine to give an almost seamless experience. However, despite all these improvements and change, it now seems like the more we improve and change, the more issues we actually get with our electronic devices. Now I do do some software support videos on the channel, I test iOS. I'm soon to be testing Android and Windows. I do test Mac. Make sure you do subscribe for those videos. So I do get quite a number of people that reach out to me with different tech related issues with their electronic devices. And one that has been a long time coming has to do with network performance or network related issues. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can improve the network performance of your device, be it iOS or Android and without wasting wasting much time, let's quickly get into it. Hey guys, Menaf Tech here and welcome to the channel and to another video. So one of the first things that I actually recommend if you're facing network related issues is to basically power cycle your device and do this for like 15 seconds just to allow most basic processes and functions of your phone to completely shut down. Now do take note that when you do shut off your device, not everything goes off. In fact, the clock and the alarm remains on. That's why you would notice that sometimes even though your electronic device is off the battery still drains so it's because the clock and the alarm still goes on and not everything goes off so what's even better than just switching off your device is to basically remove the battery if it has a removable battery this completely shuts off all processes and functions now the second thing that i do recommend is to basically turn on wi-fi calling by basically going into your phone settings and enabling wi-fi calling you can find it under the Wi-Fi section and basically what this does it improved the core quality and network performance obviously over Wi-Fi so you have to be connected to a Wi-Fi network to be able to experience this benefit another thing that you do have to keep in mind that can affect your network performance is that if you use phone cases for example these ones they are made of two different materials and so the more layers or the material that your phone case has can affect your network performance if you have a very thick case with many layers that means that there's more resistance between your phone's antenna bands and that network that is coming from your network service provider so if you live in areas that have very poor reception and you have a case on sometimes just removing the case can lead to an increase in the network you might see an increase of one bar or two bars depending on you know how poor the network is in your area but just keep in mind that the more objects and barriers you have between your phone and your network service provider the more resistance and the less effective and slower your network becomes a fourth thing that you can do to improve your network performance is to basically just check the status or condition of your sim card that's inside your phone you can easily pop it out and just do a visual scan just to see how it looks and then if you notice that it has you know some dust or debris you can easily clean it off using a micro paper towel or if you are one of those people that basically pops out the sim card many times you need to know that the more you move it in and out the more and faster it wears out so just do a visual scan and if you do notice some markings on the sim card you can basically replace it i think most service providers do it free of charge or at a very little fee so by just doing a visual inspection you can be able to determine whether you need a change of sim card and if you do do, this should be able to affect your network performance for the better now there is a setting in your device that can also basically affect your network performance and this is low data mode now if you don't need low data mode you can quickly turn it off easily by just going into your settings and then going into your cell settings and just turn off the low data mode low data mode basically tries to give you lower speeds to conserve your bandwidth but it also reduces the network performance so if you don't need it you can always turn it off in the settings option 
Also, another thing that you can do to improve your network performance is to basically confirm your device APN setting from your network service provider. Now, most service providers use a general or generic profile for the internet and APN settings for most devices. That's why you find that when you insert your SIM card into your device, it automatically connects to the internet. However, some smartphone devices need specific profiles in order to work proper with certain networks so if you're having issues and you've done all the other steps we've discussed you can check on your service provider's website and just basically confirm if there are any custom internet settings that you can input in certain devices to improve network settings or also just call them up and let them know of your issues and your device and if they do know they'll also let you know and if there is a specific profile for your device you can basically manage input it and that should improve your network performance and settings and most of the time service providers also take you through the steps so it's something easy and can be done by anyone so say you've done everything that we've talked about in this video and you are still having network related issues what you can lastly do and this should probably be your last step is to reset your network settings just go into your settings and then go to the general and then you should see a reset option and reset just the network settings do keep in mind that this will erase your user profile and wi-fi password so you might have to re-input those details afterwards but if this is something that's going to fix your device and this is the only way out then it's something that you can definitely give a go so that's about it for me when it comes to the settings and tips that you can do to improve your network settings so usually if the issue pertains to a certain recent specific software update that you perhaps installed on your device then there isn't much that either your software provider or yourself can do to rectify this issue than wait for the next software update the more people that complain complain about the network issue the faster the issue is resolved by the software provider anyways i hope you like this video if you did please leave a like down below and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet done so for more videos thanks for watching once again and i will definitely see you in the next one peace